Have you ever thought about all the different kinds of groups you're a part of? If you consider it for a minute, you'll find that there are probably a lot of them, and some of them are more alike than others. Like, there's the friends you hang out with, and your family, your hockey team, your crash course fan club, and that's just for starters. And even though these groups are totally different, in each of them, there's something that all of its members have in common. Like, your family may be from the same town, and your friends may all be into Avengers movies. A couple of episodes back, we learned that all objects, that is, all things made of matter, have properties, qualities that make them different from one another. Like, the metal water bottle we had in our lunch bag was a good conductor of heat, and the fruit strip was more malleable than the potato chip. Just like groups of people have major things in common, so do different materials. Instead of a love of superheroes, though, the things that these groups have in common are properties. So, how does that work? How can we group materials by their properties? You already know that everything is made of matter. Some of the particles that make up matter are called molecules, and the particles that make up molecules are called atoms. Now, molecules and atoms are the smallest units of a substance. A substance is just matter that's all made of one kind of atom or molecule. And since it's all made of the same stuff, it all has the same properties. Take water. Whether you have one drop of pure water or a swimming pool full of pure water, the water is made of the same molecules, and so it has has the same properties. So water in the droplet and in the pool would have the same freezing point, reflectivity, and so on. But wait, there's more. If we look really closely at a water molecule, we'll see that it's made of two other substances. And if we had the right equipment, we could break the water molecule down into smaller parts. The atoms of those two substances, hydrogen, and oxygen. These substances can't be broken down into any other substance, so we call them elements. Elements are the very most basic kind of substances, and they each have specific properties. So that, basically, is what stuff is made of. Now, let's see how we can group some substances by their properties, shall we? To get the substances for our experiment, we'll check out a place that's near and dear to my heart. The bottom of my backpack. Okay, so, it looks like we have got a candy bar, a safety pin, a tissue, unused in case you were wondering, a paper clip, and a magnet. Time to put these things into different groups by looking at their properties. Let's start with transparency. Well, since we can't see through any of them, we can say that none of them are transparent. Good to know. But not really helpful in placing these things into smaller groups. We can also see that the safety pin and the paper clip are both made of metal. They're pretty shiny, which means that they have a pretty high reflectivity. Let's check out one more. How about magnetism? If we use a magnet on the objects, we can see that the safety pin and the paper clip are drawn to the magnet. And again, what do they have in common? They're made out of metal. So at the end of our little experiment, we have three groups. Things that have low transparency, things that have high reflectivity, and things that are magnetic. And that's just using a few of the many properties that are out there. Scientists use many more to organize substances into groups. By looking at these groups, scientists have a pretty good idea about how objects made out of those substances are going to act. So, a substance is matter that is made of one kind of atom or molecule. Substances have specific properties, like reflectivity and magnetism. And once a substance can't be broken down into any other substance, it's called an element. And elements have properties too. We were able to group objects made of different materials into groups based on things that they have in common. Specifically, properties like transparency and reflectivity. And we noticed that there are objects that have similar properties that have other things in common too. Like the objects that were attracted to the magnet were made of metal. So, objects that have properties in common seem to frequently be made of similar substances. And speaking of groups that have things in common, I'm due to meet my peeps for a comic book movie marathon.